I'm playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1080p. Let's change the render scale to 75%. Do you think you know what 75% of 1080p actually means? I bet you don't. Well, stick around because I'm going to explain it in a way that even you can understand. Hello, I'm TechDweeb, welcome. Uh, this will be a quick video. I just wanted to clear up some uh, confusion about render scale. I got a comment recently on one of my videos. I was playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1080p with 75% resolution scale, uh, which I said was about 900p. And the comments implied that the actual resolution I was playing at wasn't 900p, but 810p. You know, because 75% of 1080 is 810. And I get this sort of comment quite often. People just don't understand how re resolution scaling works. It's not their fault. I blame their parents. Bunch of deadbeats not teaching their kids how render scaling actually works. Not that my mob taught me. Everything I know about render scaling I learned on the streets. And today, I'm going to explain exactly how render scaling works so you can stop embarrassing yourselves when you have the audacity to correct me. Me! I'm TechDweeb! I don't make mistakes. Ever. Oh, if only that were true. Okay, so picture this. We have a grid. A 10 by 10. We're gonna call this 10p. Let's count the pixels in this 10p grid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I actually sat here counting every square? Well, let's use the magic of technology to count them for us. 10 times 10. That's 100. Okay, 100 pixels. So our 10p grid has 100 pixels in it. Now, let's do a resolution scale on our grid. Shall we say 50%? Yeah, that sounds good. We want a 50% resolution scale, which means we only want 50% of the pixels. So since 50% of 10 is 5, does that mean that 50% of 10p is 5p? Well, let's find out. 5p would be a 5x5 five five grid, which has... Uh, hang on a second... 25 pixels. Oh, wait a second. That's only one quarter of the original 100 pixels in the 10p grid. It's not 50%, it's only 25%. What voodoo is this? Well, it's simple. See, when you're referring to 720p or 900p or 1080p, those numbers represent one dimension on the pixel grid of the screen. 1920 by 1080 is just referred to as 1080p. It's just easier to say 1080p than it is to say 2,073,600 pixels. But the actual number of pixels on the screen, that's what the resolution scale applies to. How many total pixels there are? So, back to the original comment, what is 75% of 1080p? Well, it's, it's not super easy to figure out, to be honest. You need to do some math. It's not complicated, but it's more than just like one little step. Uh, but luckily, you don't actually need to know how to do the math. You can use the magic of technology to do it for you. There's this handy resolution scale calculator website. It even explains how to do all the math stuff if you want to figure out how it works. I'll include a link to this below if you want to check it out. So let's figure this out. 1080p is 1920 by 1080. And we're going to set a resolution scale of 75%. We want 75% of the total pixels of the 1080p resolution. That means the new dimensions that will give us 75% of 1080p are... 1663 by 935. So there you go. 75% of the number 1080 is 810, but 75% of 1080p is actually 935p. Does that make sense? I feel like I might have made this more confusing. Let's go back to our super simple example, this 10p grid, which is 100 pixels. We want 50% of 100, which is 50. So what number times what number gives you 50? Well, 7, approximately. It's actually 7.071067, but because we only have actual whole pixels to work with, it's 7 for all intents and purposes. So 50% of 10p is 7p. Neat, huh? And if you still don't understand, don't worry, I got your back. I know this is all hard, complicated math stuff, and you just want an easy answer. So here you go. I made this handy chart. We have all the most common resolutions, 
720p, 900p, 1080p, 1440p, and 4K, which is 2160p, which is confusing and doesn't make much sense. Uh, that, that is, that's, a, that's a separate conversation. These are common resolutions for PCs, and I have some common video game scaling options for each of them. 50% scale, 75% scale, uh, we don't need to do 100% scale, so we'll do 200% scale. So there you go. If you want to know what 75% of 900p is, yeah, you just look it up on the on the chart. It's 779p. <laughs> Easy. I'll include a link to download this chart if you want to do that for some reason in the description below. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. Don't see the resolution and scaling option that you want listed? Well, too bad. I can't do everything for you. The world doesn't revolve around you. Just go to the website I showed you and figure it out for yourself. I've given you everything I can give you. You've sucked me dry. I got nothing else for you, except this. And, well, that's it. That's my explanation. Uh, do you understand now? I totally understand why people get confused by this. It's a little bit counterintuitive to grasp until you understand what the resolution scale is actually referring to. It's, it's just a really common misconception that I see popping up in the, my comments and online. And there's a lot of misinformation and bad advice floating around and I just wanted to clear it up once and for all. If only so I could have a video to link when people ask this instead of having me explain it every single time. So I hope you found this useful and enlightening. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Does this clear it up for you? Or are you still confused? Are there any other topics about computers or graphics or whatever that you'd like me to, you know, make a similar explanation video on? Just let me know how I can help you in the comments below. And while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video, or the thumbs down button if you didn't. Uh, subscribe, of course, if you haven't yet. What are you waiting for? As always, I'm TechDweeb. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.